when it get juicy. Big disciple, not bad and bougie. This Laura, woo, 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 woo. Yeah. that's beautiful. Get in there, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Don't bother me while I'm watching shots. Right. These guys are drop dead gorgeous. Mm hmm. And what about me? You should just drop dead. <laughs> And we back at Laura, I love Laura, man. If you if you can tell. We back at it again with another video. Life lessons and Stephen Laura. And what's the life lesson? See, Laura got a big smile on her face. Somebody that you can chill back with and say it, relax and have a good time with. <laughs> Whew, the boys are fine, the Lord. Laura in the daydream again, but she's loving it. Uh oh. <laughs> well, this. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Laura, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you have your moment. I'm gonna let you scream. I just think it's hilarious that it's not even just one Steve in Laura's mind right now. There's the the. the Steve Urkels have took over her whole mind. And why is this? Because what did I say? What's the life lesson? Find somebody you can just chill back and relax with. And that's what she's doing with Steve. She's bonding with him. You know what I'm saying? And it's connecting into her mind. And here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Kelly with the screens, better. I gotta get away. We're getting too, getting too close. Why are you so upset that the guys know you're a virgin? You're expected to fool around. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you're saying that guys are supposed to have sex and girls aren't? Mm. Well, because that will be the end of mankind. Right. <laughs> How does that even work? I love what Lois talk. How does that even work? Eddie, why is it okay for me to be a virgin, but it's mm. not okay for you? Well, because you're my sister. Hmm. Well, think about this. Yep. All those other girls out there hmm. are somebody's sister, too. Look, Laura, the bottom line is I haven't been with a girl yet, and now I'm the laughing stock in the boys' locker room. <laughs> well, Eddie, your friend Jerry's a hound, hmm. and he's the laughing stock of the girls' locker room. Right. We talked to. Both you. Why does he love Laura? Look what she's saying right now. Like, I, hey, I'm, I'm carrying that B with pride, baby. Right? I, I told you, moral. Moral code, moral standard. What did I say? Some of the things that Steve loves about Laura is how she's being raised. The woman she is becoming. What I, oh, I, I just wish people would get this. When, when I said, what is Steve missing out on in being in a relationship with Laura? Because they ain't about to be doing the... Oochie coochie, la la la. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. They're not about to be doing the red light special. So what? What is Steve really missing out on? You know what I'm saying? Okay, maybe some hugs and some kisses and stuff like that. And that's why I keep saying. But what he's actually gaining with Laura is greater than any of that because how Laura's being raised and how Steve believes is like they ain't gonna do all none of that until marriage anyway. You know what I'm saying? Sam. So that pretty girl is Myra. Yep. Laura told me about her. <laughs> She's the girl with a sick puppy. <laughs> no. Laura thinks Myra is a sick is puppy. Is a sick puppy. <laughs> but that's just jealousy, dog. <laughs> Laura thinks that Myra is a sick puppy. We got to get it right, Mother Winslow. Mother Winslow. Well, the thing is, Myra's made it quite clear that well, she liked to do the... A wiggle wiggle wing bing. <laughs> I'm just as anxious as the next guy. Mm. But I want to wait. Hmm. I want my wedding night to be special. Right. My advice to you is be true to yourself. Hmm. Go with what you believe in. Right there. Now, if Mara can't support that, Ooh. she is just not the right girl for you. Ooh. What Mother Winslow said there is so deep. You know, her saying, if Myra can't respect that, then she's just not the right girl for you. How you need to say it in layman's terms, if she can't respect you, then she is just not the right girl for you. He's talking to a Steve, you know, go with what you believe. You know what I'm saying? Don't lose yourself in this. Stay true to who you are. It's so powerful. 
Should I use the ticket to get your gorgeous granddaughter to go to the concert with me? Can't believe that you'd ever use blackmail. Mm. Oh, I was afraid you might say that. Hmm. Well, there goes my date. Right. Oh, honey, give her time. She'll come round. Mm. Yeah, well, I just hope she falls in love with me while I'm still young enough to do something about it. Mm. <laughs> what say about Laura? Some of the things that Steve loves about Laura is how she's being raised. Laura is as pure as the snow, right? And not looking to be unpured. And that is also, what did Steve just say? I want my wedding night to be special. And Myra trying to get in, get in where she fit in. And I think some of this, the, some of the reason why this is, because how a lot of us girls think, like if I can get him in that way, maybe he'll forget about her. And so that's probably Myra's approach. And once again, he's in, he's, he's at a crossroads with Myra again. And it's because she doesn't respect him. She doesn't listen to him. Steve is a toy for Myra to play with, to reprogram, to manipulate and control. Thanks, Estelle. You're so well. Oh, pleasure. Mm. Platforms, <laughs> you're pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I've been cool for 20 years because that's how old these shoes are. Uh -huh. <laughs> Y'all know style just goes around and around and around. That's why Laura Winslow is such a fashion icon because all her styles just coming right back around. Ma, I gotta talk to you about Steve. Mm. Oh, you mean the explosion? Well, Steve says he didn't do it, but nobody believes him. Mm. They want to expel him. Really? For a little explosion? <laughs> it wasn't that little. One of the lab tables hasn't come down yet. <laughs> That's terrible. Well, I really feel bad for Steve. Yeah, me too. There may be something I could do to help him, but I'd have to stick my neck out. What is huh? What do I keep saying about Laura? Help. Uh, Laura is a major help in Steve's life. I'm trying to tell you. Well, Steve could ask for a student trial and I could represent him. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, I think I'll do it. But if I win the case, I'll ruin the party. What party? The one the kids want to throw the day Steve gets expelled. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. The life lessons of Steve and Laura. What are the life lessons of Steve and Laura? I love this here. You realize Laura believes Steve. She said nobody believes him. And she's going as far to even defend him. So let's go back. Let, okay. Let's go back to this. I think he's holding out on us. What's up with that? I can only think of one reason. He's striking out. Who oh, wall? I'm the Ted man. I do not strike out. So. Mm. Take it back. Take what back? Well, these both don't think you scored with Mark. Well, news flash, hmm. me chachos. Laura Winslow is pure. Huh. She's changed. Huh. She's never been sullied. She ain't never been sullied. And if she is, it's going to be by me. You feel what I'm saying? Looking back on this and just seeing that, that what Steve is doing here. Okay. Get lost, Urkel. Not until you admit that nothing happened between you and Laura. Yeah, well, something did happen. That side's a line. Mm. Bam. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. But Steve knows what's up without even having the evidence. He already knows. So he calling this dude out. This is what I'm, this is what I'm saying. We're going to connect it. The nerd boy hit me. Correct you. I hit you twice. I don't believe this. Oh, then maybe you'll believe this one. Well, that, that thing with Steve, right? Where Steve not having any evidence. Not having any evidence was already like, Psh, Laura's not, Laura ain't about to be messing with no dude like that. I, kn I know her, right? Without having any evidence. What is Laura doing here? Without having any evidence, she is believing Steve. And here's the more beautiful thing about it. This is actually something that would be in the realm of what Steve would do accidentally though, right? Accidentally. Think about that. Laura still believes him. Why? Because she believes his word if steve said he didn't do it i believe him they have built such a friendship that if that they believe each other's word if he said it i believe it if she said it i steve and laura been working at this man stephen q urkel stephen you are q. charged with urkel. well blowing the lab to smithereens hmm. mr sweeney did you actually see the explosion no i didn't then you don't really know who caused it, do you? Mm. No, I don't. 
No further questions. Right. Laura's like, I'm just going to ask common sense things. <laughs> I'm not going to get deep with it. I'm just going to ask you a common sense question. Did you see it or did you not? You didn't. You're dismissed, bro. <laughs> I call Officer Carl Winslow. Ooh. Ooh. Call him Big Daddy. Officer Winslow, you're Steve Urkel's next door neighbor. And has Mr. Urkel ever caused any damage to your home or property? Well, uh, little bit, but nothing major. You don't call those things major. Right. And this is what, it, again, what I will say that is so dope about Laura, about Stephen Laura. This is in the realm of what Steve would do. It is accidentally though. We know that, right? Ac not purposely, but accidentally. It doesn't matter. Laura is going off of Steve's word. It's just, it's so amazing. Well, I still have my health. <laughs> Your witness. Uh-oh, Laura got to talk to daddy. So Winslow. Yes, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Described several of Steve's so-called disasters. Hmm. Did he ever deny causing any of these mishaps? Mm. Well, no. So he always accepts responsibility for his mistakes. Yes. Then why has he denied causing this explosion? Mm. Oh, well, it's simple. He didn't do it. Mm. <laughs> Laura's a bad chick, man. Laura is a bad chick. I love how she played on that. So this is, so th what, what that did was it allowed you to know what's in Laura's mind. Wait a minute. Steve has broke a lot of stuff, but he also takes accountability for. Thank you, Officer Winslow. Anytime, sweetheart. <laughs> Question, Steve. Oh, yes, baby cakes. Yes, baby cakes. Not here, Steve. <laughs> Will you please tell us what you were doing in the lab on the day in question? Uh, I was working on my project for the state science fair. And are any of the chemicals in your solvent flammable? Oh, yes, yes. But I'm a scientist, and mm. I treat all my chemicals with R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Thank you, Mr. Urkel. Oh, that's right, my pet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Urkel. I love it. Years, you've won second place in the annual science fair. Who took first place? Yuckle. Mm. Yuckle. You don't like Steve Urkel, do you? No, I don't. In fact, you hate him, don't you? That's right. Enough to blow up the science lab yourself and frame him for it? <laughs> Laura going in on this dude. <laughs> Laura going in on this dude. But it's pure fiction. Oh? Well, what if I told you I could prove it? How? <laughs> Your Honor, this is a black light. It detects phosphorescent paints or chemicals. Oh, Laura did her homework. Laura did her. So Laura did not walk up in this thing. Like, let me just try to get it. No, Laura's like, I'm about to win. I'm about to win. Again, something I don't think people realize is she's defending Steve in front of the whole school once again. Lights, please. Laura, what's the relevance here? Simply this. The explosive chemicals in Steve's graffiti solvent are phosphorescent. When they come in contact with human skin, traces remain detectable for several days. Mr. Thornhill, show me your hands. Light, please. Okay, okay, I did it! This is the other thing, too. Um, Laura's not just intelligent, articulate, and witty, but she's going to be a lawyer. And you see how she just broke all that stuff down like that. That that girl did her homework. She absolutely did her homework. People always say all the time, Myra was was smarter than Laura. And in, in some areas, but in some areas not, because Myra probably couldn't have done this. I you doing last year's science fair. Me. I'm tired of studying until four in the morning. Well, Urkel just glances at a page and gets A's. How does he do it? Darn you, Urkel. Darn you to heck. <laughs> Darn you to heck. I love there's no cursing. I love it. So, uh, and look, at, look at how Steve sitting right <laughs> Look at how Steve's sitting right now. Look at how Steve's sitting right now. And why? Because of Laura. Again, I will ask, 
What is Steve? Lauren made him wait. Lauren made him wait for forever. What what really is he missing out on right now but building this thing with Laura in all aspects of life? Come on this now. This dramatic development. I ask that all charges against Steve be dropped. Case dismissed. There you go. Myra, what are you doing here? Mm. Hello, Miss Laura. Stephen told me you asked him to help you with your French, so I figured I should be here as the HPM. HPM? See, this is another thing, too. I love, again, I keep saying to people, Myra, she's smarter than Laura. Why does, if that's the case, why, why is it that Steve studies with Laura more than he does Myra? And I can answer that question for you because Laura is on her hustle game. She, you know what I'm saying? Laura is a, 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 a bookworm, if you will. And Steve isn't, and neither is Myra. So, so you know, the, the Bible says, iron sharpens iron. Thank you, thank you, monitor. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, snuggle buns. For you to be here. Nothing's mm -hmm. going to happen between Laura and me. Mm -hmm. I know, because I tried. He tried already. <laughs> he did. I love how honest Steve is even with Myra. With Myra standing right there with her face. I, hey, man, I was trying to make moves on her. It didn't work. What, he, Steve's hiding nothing from Myra. Well, I'm surprised Laura turned you down. After all, she's on the rebound ever since Ziggy dumped her. Oh, yeah, hit her with that smile, Laura. Ziggy did not dump me. Hmm. Ziggy and I decided we weren't right for each other, so we mutually agreed to see other people. Okay, fine. So you're not the first girl who needs to hear a fairy tale to get to sleep at night. We we really do need to study. Oh, go ahead. I'll just keep myself busy while I chaperone you too. <laughs> No, no, we got to look at now again, if Myra thinks so low of Laura and she's so much better for Steve, why does she even have to do all this? This is again, these are things that let you know the person that you wit, you don't actually got because you don't have, you shouldn't have to do all this. You shouldn't have to do all this. Steve and Laura are just studying. That's, that's literally all they're doing. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> Me getting hit by a bus. <laughs> oh no. And look who's driving. It's Turtle Toe. <laughs> I'm going to count to three. One, two. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> now I want us to look at this again. First of all, I love the fact that Laura is giving this smoke back to Myra because this is probably the eighth time that, Myra, that Myra's come up in Laura's house disrespecting her. And I love, and Laura don't always go round and round with her, but sometimes she does. And I love that she's doing it here. But a, a bigger thing to even look at is look at how Myra talks to people. She, you, you see how she said, because you're going, I'm, I'm going to play it back. You're going to see it again. I'm going to count to three. One, two. Oh, oh my God. Do you see how Myra said to um, Laura, I'm going to count to three? That's what you say to children. You don't say that to another, from a teenager to another teenager. So you have to listen to the language. This is what I'm saying with Myra is, is she's manipulative and she's controlling. And, and you, you see it here with her tone. You don't tell another teenager I'm going to count to three. She, Laura is not a child. It's ridiculous. Girl, you are one totally sick puppy. Look at that last sketch. <gasps> As in making it a jaybird. Mm. <laughs> so Laura's uh so Laura's seen Steve. Okay, I'll leave it alone. Myra, I've never shown you my room. But there's my computer and my butt collection. And Lordy, my dehumidifier. <laughs> well, uh you missed mine on me. Mm-hmm. Only once. People just sit up here and say, I didn't like how they wrote Myra in the ninth season. The ninth season? This is the fifth season. This is who Myra is. Y'all just sit up here and say, well, they wrote her different later. No. Myra is, is already sneaking a peek, but she gets caught. So how long and how much more would Myra have been doing this? Violating his personal space. Well, you have gone too far, kids. 
you would turn the healthy attraction into a, a sickening obsession. But, but I... I'm save your butts, Missy. Oh, you lost your butt rights when you sketched mine. <laughs> We're through. Mm. <laughs> Goodbye, Myra. Mm. What you did to me oh, hurt me deeply. Look, 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 look. Oh, my gosh. Okay. For everybody that's like, if I was Steve, I would have kicked Laura to the curb. And da -da. do you realize the stuff that Laura does is normal things that happen? She pops off because, she, you know, he broke her thing. She pops off because she's in a bad mood. Steve can deal with that. What Steve can't deal with, and remember why I said one of the reasons why he loves Laura. Laura's open. She's honest. She takes accountability. She's responsible. Person, and I have feelings, and I demand to be treated with respect and dignity. Mm. Mm. You're right. What? Ooh. You're absolutely right. I'm the one who messed up, but I've been taking it out on you. Ooh. You were a friend every step of the way, and all I did was complain. I'm really sorry, Steve. Will you forgive me? The difference between Myra and Laura. The difference between Myra and Laura. I had to make sure that I say that twice for the two in the back. Okay. Wow. Okay. There you <laughs> Good night, Steve. You know, we had to run that back, you know, because this is what I've, I have been trying to express and get people to see. What Myra offers is not what Steve needs. It's not what he wants. You know, Steve would have easily taken, you know what, Steve, I'm wrong. I, I apologize for that. I was out of pocket. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, my apologies. I won't do it again. But Myra won't do that. Have you ever met some of them people? I don't mean to be calling y'all out, but you got some of those people that just refuse to apologize. They refuse to apologize. They refuse to take accountability. And you realize yourself, you know this, if you listen to me, you know, it's hard for that relationship to grow. It really becomes kind of stagnant because believe it or not, you don't just grow off of, you know, uh, uh, cuddle bears and, and, and rainbows and, and teddy bears. You grow through the hard stuff too. And when you don't, when you can't deal, you get to that place, you can't deal with the hard stuff. Then how do you grow? That's why Steve and Laura are where they are today. It's not because they, they cuddle, you know, that they do cuddle like on low key. We saw that at the beginning of the video, they get their little snuggle on, but they're not a romantic, they're not in a romantic relationship right now, but they do have a growing friendship because of that, because of the accountability, because of the honesty, because of the openness. And I'm, I, I know I've said all through the video, but people say, what is it that Steve loved about Laura? That, because that's what you can build on. That's something you can build your future on. Somebody that doesn't get it right all the time, but when they get it wrong, they try to get it right. And you just, people just have to understand that. That's one of the things that Steve, I mean, heck, if I'm being real, when I was, when I was younger, that's what I admired about Laura, you know, was that she, you know, she would recognize her wrong. She would get it right. She's willing to talk. She's willing to listen. She's willing to be responsible. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I said people are like, oh, I would have kicked, I would have kicked Laura to the curb. You, you got to understand the type of issues that Steve and Laura have are normal. They're normal. The type of issues that my, Steve continues to have with Myra are abnormal. Or, you know, like her drawing him in, in his all together, no clothes on, without his permission. Okay? Or forcing him to get, you know, let's get physical, physical. I want to get, no, she want to get physical. He don't. You know what I'm saying? So you're seeing all these different type of issues that none of the people just fail to realize, you know, that continues to keep Myra and Steve stagnant. And why over here? No, there's not no kissy, kissy, lovey, lovey, snuggy, snuggy with Steve and Laura, but there is a growing relationship. There's a growing admiration. And here's the other big thing to, to, to look at too. I want, I want people to, you know, to recognize is like I said before, Steve sees the pureness in Laura. He sees the pureness in Laura, but on the, on the same, you know, can we flip that coin? Bow, flip it over for a second. He also sees the lack of pureness in Myra. He sees, Steve sees that. He sees that Laura, like, you know, she, she had temper sometimes she pop off sometimes, 
but I see who she is on the inside. I see that Lori really is a sweet, warm person. She fronts a lot, you, you know, and, and all that type of stuff. And this is why I keep telling you that when it comes to Lord, when it comes to, um, Lord, even it's not just about her beauty. Cause if it was just about beauty, Steve would shut up and be happy with Myra. No, it is Laura's character. It is who she is. It is who she is becoming. Now check this out though. The other thing I think that Steve absolutely admires about Laura, you know, what does Steve, what does Steve go talk to her mother one's all about? Man, look, I'm trying to wait till marriage because I'm about to have it popping up. Okay. It's about to be the greatest thing ever, which is how God intended it guys. Okay. God did not intend. He's not like a, 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 a mean God to be like, no, don't do that. No, God wanted us to be with that one person and walk that one person's world for the rest of our life. That's what God wanted. Right. And so that's what Steve is desiring. And he sees those same things in Laura. That is how Laura's being raised. If we remember what mama told her, you know, I need you to wait till marriage. She said, I'll wait. I'll do my best anyway. But you know, she's like, I'll wait. And so these are just some of the things that guys, we can't argue. I mean, we can't ignore what are important when it goes into building a life with somebody, building a relationship with somebody. And that's what it is. People say all the time, you know, why would Steve pick Myra, Laura over Myra? And I'm like, how can you not see it? But see, a lot of us don't understand love anymore. That's why this world is so cold. That's why people would rather text than talk, right? That's why people would rather, you know, text than visit nowadays. We're getting really out of control now. I'll just FaceTime you instead of, come on, come on over, girl. Come on, you know, come on over, get a soda. Let's, I'll just FaceTime you, right? Colder, we're falling further and further and further away from each other. And when that happens, and God, and when that happens, we get into a place where we don't even understand what love is. We don't understand, you know, that, and God, I'm going to say this, God is the greatest example of love. Jesus is the greatest example of love. Jesus had to go through the fire. He had to be crucified. He had to be mocked. He had to be spit on, you know what I'm saying? Beaten, battered, bruised for the sake of what? Love. So he was our example that, hey man, loving somebody right is not always easy, but it is rewarding. You know what I'm saying? And that is the thing that we have to look at with Myra. Myra don't know how to love Steve right. You know what I'm saying? And at this point, Steve knows if he sticks with Myra over Laura, he's settling and his life and his future is going to be jacked up forever. It's just what it is, guys. It's just what it is. But anyway, love God, love people. May God bless you. May God keep you.